Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe for my existing subscribers. Thank you for your support. Today I wanted to talk about the body camera. The body camera is something that's on the police uniform and sometimes it's quite obvious, sometimes it's not. It's supposed to be obvious because it's supposed to influence behaviour. But, you know, there's some kind of debate on how effective these body cameras are. Now, they're supposed to um, record, they're supposed to make the police accountable. And so what's supposed to happen is the police are supposed to have it on when they um, enter a crime scene or when they anticipate any kind of problems. And that covers them and it covers their behavior and it covers the, their actions. And so if there are any problems down the line, the police can say or the police can prove that they acted responsibly, professionally and within due process. What's happening, though, is that a lot of the policemen, well, not a lot, but some of the policemen, are choosing when they put the body cameras on. And as a result, they put them on at a time that is convenient for them to give the message that they want received by the courts or by the police office or by their superiors. So as far as their superiors are concerned, this is what happened. They turned on the um, recorder and they um, recorded it from that point. The problem is, is that the body cameras can be manipulated. They can actually create a scene before they put the body camera on. And when that person reacts to the scene that is not recorded, then um, that is the only aspect of the incident that is recorded and that can go against the person who is well the civilian whoever it is and um, there's 23,000 body cameras um, dished out to the Met Police um, some of them are obvious like I said some of them are yellow some of them kind of merge into their um, uniforms we don't know but I just wanted to quickly um, run something by you um, the, body the body cam program needs careful preparation and attention to implement, to implement, and, sorry, a body cam program needs careful preparation and attention for the implementation to enable this device to work as intended. Now, I thought with the body cam, they just, it was something that they just put on, I assume it's got a battery, and they just switch it on when they need to record it. But according to this, it needs preparation. I'm going to put the link on the source. It was based on the report that was done. They need to um, prepare it and give it careful attention so the implementation is effective. And so to enable the device to work as intended, which means to me there seems to be some configuration going on with that body camera. What I also heard today is that they're actually um, inserting facial recognition software in those body cameras. So um, that paints a totally different picture um, for what they were originally intended for. But like I said, they probably got algorithms in it. We don't know what they've got in those body cameras. But like they're not just cameras, just, just so as long as you know they've got a wealth of uses. And we don't know what those uses are. But f apparently they had a training and it was the most attended, even above forensic science. M nearly all of the police, the chief of police attended that over and above all the other types of training. So there's obviously um, there's obviously something about the body camera that meets the eye more than the, more than meets the eye. Um, and like I said, they're only good as the integrity of the officer using them. If the officer chooses when to put it on or not to put it on or to say that his battery was low or to say he forgot to put it on, what can they do? They just don't have the evidence. So they are supposed to reduce crime. There's no evidence that they have. Um, yeah, let me just see what else I need to read. Um, Oh, yeah, at the annual technology conference of the International Association of Chief of Police in 2016, the number of workshops about body cams outnumbered 
all of the other topics, including cybersecurity, predictive analytics and forensic science. There's obviously something intriguing about body cameras. Um, political leaders believe body cameras help build trust because they increase police accountability. But there again, but when a police officer beats up a civilian and, and then turns on the camera when the victim is fighting for his life, it creates a distorted picture. Body cams are meant to expose police misconduct, but they can be manipulated like any technology. Um, like I said, there's 23,000 body cams for the Met Police. That was as of 2015. I couldn't find a recent number. Um, meta analytic Meta-analysis trials reported small decreases in crime or no difference at all for the use of them. And they spend so much money on this equipment. It's unbelievable. Um, MC grabbers um, used by police to extract information from your phone. Yeah, I just put that because I've, I discovered that um, the police also use IMSA, MC grabbers which like they, um, it's like phone tapping. They can get into your phone. Apparently, um, they bought quite a few um, of the equipment and they installed them. They're like cell towers and it, the cell towers trick the phone into believing it's an authentic source that where they're supposed to connect to. So they connect to this uh, MC tower or whatever it is, or this connection, and they can actually access your phone. So they reckon that, you know, they, they want to use it for protests. I was thinking they probably use it for the carnival. They could use it for the carnival because sometimes, as you know, in the carnival, there's a poor reception. And these MC devices um, are meant to give real, really good um, connections. And they give good connections for a reason. So if you're, in the, if you're in the carnival and all of a sudden you get a fantastic connection, it might be an MC tower you are connected to. And I wrote it down, the individual um, monitoring radio devices or something, ID devices. Yeah, individual mobile MC. Anyway, I can't remember what it, I wrote it down somewhere. I think I put it on my phone. Um... Yeah, the only thing with those um, facial recognitions, like I said, um, the source of the photographs are from, I think they have about 10 million photographs that they've had from a life memorial. And they've acquired them whether the person is innocent, whether the person has been released, whether somebody, regardless, the person doesn't have to be a criminal for them to have their photograph on their on their police um, national um, database. So when this facial recognition um, matches up with one of those faces, that's when they're that's when you're in trouble. If it matches, if it wrongly matches, if it rightly matches, then well, all well and good, the system works. But if it wrongly matches, it's not such a great system after all. Anyway, I just wanted to run that by you because I thought it was quite interesting that the body cameras that we see um, are not just body cameras. They have a wealth of uses and you need to be aware of that. Okay. All right then. Bye-bye.